So Terrorism is working in child protection in South Lebanon. We had around 45 persons till now, and now we are going to get it to be almost double. So this means also a lot in terms of work, in terms of changing the project, uh, putting a, setting on uh, new activities and uh, discovering new places and so on. Terrorism has been active in child protection in Lebanon since 1977. Located at the heart of a geographical region besieged by humanitarian crises, Lebanon has taken in over one million Syrian and Palestinian refugees, and that number is steadily increasing. These refugees are often living in precarious conditions and a high number of children are subject to violence and discrimination. This, these projects are in the south of Lebanon. So we are responding to the needs of the people who came to stay in the south uh, of Lebanon as uh, Palestinian refugees and as well Syrian uh, refugees and the host community. So the services here is not just for the refugees because the population, the Lebanese population, they are really start to be affected by the Syrian crisis. So the services are delivered to the uh, Syrian and non-Syrian uh, people. What we are doing is to provide support to these children. First, uh, psychosocial support, so helping them to, to cope with what they, they saw in their life, what we are facing now, their living conditions. Aside of this, we are trying, when you have children who face high abuse, such as sexual abuse or physical violence from their families, so we are trying to, to support this child and his family or her family to ensure that this is not the case anymore, to go to the justice if necessary, to provide them with uh, basic uh, living conditions, with health support if it's necessary, for example, in terms of sexual assault. Usually we support this child to go to the doctor. We try to link them with different resources. We are going to face the challenges, but the most important الطبابة يعني الأمراض اللي عم تصير يعني عم ينتكس مرات الواحد عم يركض يركض عم يطلع عليه دين و... وما عم يلحق ما عرفت علي بنسبة لأنه عنده أولاد صغار وكذا ساعدتنا بالبيت ها و... زبطتنا بيت الشلطة زبطتنا هالبيت ووضعنا يعني و... وأنا بتشكر على المدام نيفين إنه عم بتساعدنا كل خطوة بخطوتها يعني مش عم تقطعنا بكل وقت بوقت We are working in uh, sensitizing the community on uh, child protection so that they can better protect their children by themselves. So we, we organize aware, what we call awareness sessions. So for example, we sit with community members on, and discuss on early marriage because this is a big issue in this country. And then we ask these people to go and talk to other of their friends, of their other caregivers to explain what they learned and have this kind of same kind of discussions. We believe that international NGOs will not stay forever here. So we need to leave something behind, something concrete behind. Based on this understanding, based in, on this concept, we connect with the existing structure. We are doing the same also with uh, different faith-based actors who are using child protection in their speeches. So when they have speeches to, to people, they, they also integrate some child protection messages, especially in terms of physical violence, of early marriage, and um, child labor. These are the three main ones. The situation of Syrian refugees is still worsening. The TDH Lebanese delegation's activities have increased steadily to respond to the crisis that began in 2011. 
Thanks to our local team, more than 50,000 affected children have been protected.